I just came from the store and I got two fresh red snapper and I was thinking you know what I never did um stuffed snapper before like stuffed fish so today I'm going to be doing some um oven roasted stuffed red snapper and it's going to be so good I can't wait for you guys to try this <laughs> You know, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's jump right into the video. Okay, guys, now let's take a quick look at the ingredients I'll be using here. I have my red snapper. I already washed them up and seasoned them. I'll show you guys how I did it in just a minute. I have some callaloo, pumpkin, I'll be using some okra. I have garlic, onions, and some bell peppers. For the seasonings, I have bouillon, old bay seasoning, complete seasoning, and black pepper. So let's rewind back to how I season this fish. First, I wash them up really well in some lemon juice and vinegar, and I score them. And for the seasonings, I use some complete seasoning, garlic and onion powder, Old Bay seasoning, black pepper, smoked paprika, and some Sazon seasoning. I also have oil and some fresh green seasoning. What I did was combine all the seasonings really well. Then I added my green seasoning and the oil and form like a paste consistency. And I got my pastry brush and then I distributed the seasoning onto the fish in every crease and crevices, all up in the stomach, in those incisions that I made, in the head, everywhere. And I covered it and allow it to marinate for about an hour or two. In a preheated pot, I did add some oil and now I will add my onions, garlic and bell peppers. We'll give it a good toss and allow it to go for about 2-3 to three minutes. Now you want to do this while your fish is marinating because, you know, the filling has to cool off completely before we stuff the fish. So you want to do this ahead of time and just allow it to rest. Next, we'll add our pumpkin since that's the one that takes the longest to cook. We'll add our pumpkin here. We'll give it a good toss and we will let this go for about, let's say, five, eight minutes or so. It should soften up nicely and then we'll move on with the next step. I did went in and add a bit of water because this is a very dry pumpkin I have and it needed the water to help it soften up. But if your pumpkin is watery, you might not need to add any liquid here. Let it cook until it softens, and then I'll show you guys the next step. Once the pumpkin softens up, we'll now add our callaloo and okra. Give it a little toss, and then we will add our seasonings that flavor and taste to the dish. Remember, you can season to your own liking and add your favorite seasoning here. It doesn't have to be the ones I'm using. We'll give it another toss, making sure everything is well incorporated and we'll allow it to cook until the okra is nice and tender. After about 5 minutes, your okra should be nice and tender 
and this should be all done. So now we'll turn the heat off and set this aside allowing it to cool down completely before we stuff our fish. Next we'll go ahead and stuff our fish. This is super simple. We will just grab a spoon and some of that filling and place it right in the middle there until the fish is nicely stuffed. You don't want to overfill them. Just stuff them nicely and we will place them on a rack over there. In Guyana we would call this power food because it's so healthy and packed with nutrition. You know, like the fish, that is something very healthy and we're not frying it, we're actually baking it. And you know, all the, the, the veggies here, we have the pumpkin, the okra, the callaloo, you know, it's super nutritious, packed with a lot of nutrients. And that's why we would call this like power food back home. I really do hope you guys give this recipe a try. I know you will enjoy it. You know, this is like the Caribbean style stuffed fish, you know, packed with all the nutrients. So I have preheated my oven to 450 degrees. You want to roast these on high heat for about 30 minutes. And then I'll show you guys the finished product. Can't wait. I'm so excited for this. Once they come out of the oven, this is how they should be looking. First of all, they look amazing, they smell divine, and they are super healthy and nutritious. I really do hope you guys give this recipe a try, and if you enjoy my video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy.